Hey guys, Pokesick29 here, and welcome to episode 50 of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the random class by making a plugin that will teleport a random player to you. Before we begin, I want to say that this is the 50th episode of Bucket Coding. Uh, the first episode was posted on the January 14th or 13th or something like that, and now on September 5th we have finally reached 50 episodes. So I want to give a big thank you to all of the people that have been uh, watching my videos, and especially the few people that have been following my videos since the beginning of when I started posting them. So in the description, uh, in the uh, comment section of this video, please post around like the day, like the date or the video. The, like the first date or video that you started watching because I'm curious to see who my you know who are my longest watching subscribers and you know who has just joined so go ahead and comment with that if you are interested the second thing is I am trying out a new program called Camtasia uh, I for all of my other videos I've used ScreenFlow but I recently purchased Camtasia in a bundle and it seems like a very nice program it seems like a little bit more advanced than ScreenFlow and apparently a lot of other YouTube people use it so let me know if you notice any difference that is good or bad between the two programs there really shouldn't be so let's go ahead and get started we're going to go ahead and make a simple command slash RTP and this will teleport a random person. So public boolean on command uh, command sender sender command cmd string command label string array args import okay for the purpose of this video I'm going to make the random teleporter teleport you to a random person. But you can, this is just to teach you guys how to use the random class, so you can use it for anything that you want. So, first off, the usual if exclamation point sender instance of instance of player sender dot send message chat color dot red plus uh only players can randomly teleport and return. Then we can then say player p equals uh, player. I can't type today. Player sender. Okay. If cmd dot get name dot equals ignore case. RTP. Uh, first off, if args dot length is equal to zero, then we want to say p dot send message chat color dot red plus you must specify a player and return true. Oh, sorry, we don't want them. Sorry, that was. That was silly of me. We don't want them to specify a player. We just want them to do RTP and be taken to a random player. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to say random r equals new random. And this is basically instantiating the random class. It's part of it's built into Java. And you know that's basically all you need to do. Uh, you can instantiate random, you know, as many times as you want. I'm just going to do it like this. We are then going to say uh, int random player number equals r dot next int and then we are then going to say bucket dot get server dot get online players dot length and like that now what this is doing is this next int method will return a random integer but by specifying the length of the online players it will return an integer from one to the ceiling, which we specified as the player. So it will return between player 1 and it will return between 1 and the number of players that are online. So we can then go ahead and say player target equals uh, bucket dot get server dot get player and I believe we want to say, oh yeah, sorry, it's dot get 
get online players at random player number. Because remember, get online players it returns an array of players, so we're calling it at the random player number, and that is how we get our target. We can then say p dot teleport to target, because the teleport method will take a an entity as the argument, so we can do that. And then we are going to say p dot send message check color dot green plus you have teleport teleport ported to uh ran to uh target dot get name. Yay. And just to organize this a little bit more, we can just go like that. Alright. And finally we need our return excuse me. Return true and our return true to get rid of any errors. That should be all. I have my um, my uh, plugin.yml with everything registered, with the command registered, and I believe that that is all we need to do. So we can go ahead and test this. Now, the one thing that I will note is that um, uh, I, I will be the only player on the server, so I can't really, you know, I can't really show you guys that it works with the random player, but since I'm the only player on the server, it will teleport me to myself. And that's that's the best I can do for this example. So let's go ahead and start up the server and make sure that it works correctly. And good. Start up Minecraft. Okay. Let's go ahead and join the oop, wrong one. Let's go ahead and join the local testing server. And good. Okay. Now let's go ahead and test the RTP. So as you can see, if you watch, you will see a subtle movement because I actually am being teleported, but I'm being teleported to the exact location where I was before, so you can't really notice the difference. But it does say you have been teleported to Pokesick 29, which means that it was able to successfully pick out a random player. If it was not able to, then an exception would be thrown, or, you know, whatever. It, it just wouldn't work. But it was able to, to uh, select a random player, which was me, and it was successfully able to teleport me to myself. So that is all for this video. You guys learned how to use the random class. Now for the random class, you can call, there are lots of other methods, basically any number you want, you get like a double or a float by calling, you know, next double, next float, whatever. Uh, the random class is just a great tool for, you know, creating, getting random numbers for adding spontaneity to your server. Uh, it can also be kind of cool with like a, a lot of games where, like, uh, like a survival game where one player is assigned as a as a zombie and then they have to eat the other players, or I don't know, I've seen some games like that. So uh, there are a lot of places where the random class could be very helpful. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what you want to learn. If you liked this video, click the like button. Uh, comment with when you remember that you first started watching my videos, whether it be a video that you saw or a, uh, or a date that you joined, and uh, I believe that is all, so I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.